I get lots of people that ask about adding jQuery to their web pages. And, you know, a lot of designers will ask us and say, well, how easy is it? Can I do it, et cetera? Sure, you totally can. Once you get the idea, though, you, you, you'll be able to get a lot of these done. But I'm going to use this one from CSS Tricks called the Anything Slider. Uh, and if you go to CSSTricks.com, you can find or search for Anything Slider, and you'll find it. Scroll down a bit, and you'll see that we can view a demo here as well as download the files. Go ahead and download the files. It'll ask you to, it'll take you to GitHub and you download the latest one. It'll be a zip file, unzip it and stick it on your desktop. And we'll kind of work from there, but then come back, click view demo, and you'll be able to see just kind of a really cool like demo of it. If I scroll down here. This is pretty much what it is. That's the simplest version. You can also insert text and pictures or a combination, a lot of different things. There's also some options we can set, a lot of different things we can do. I'm gonna keep this open. So keep this page open. I'm gonna go out to my desktop and you'll see that I've got the pro loser, that's who actually you know, uh, finally created this thing. Started from rather, I think. Anyway, you open that folder, you're gonna see a bunch of stuff in there. Now what you're gonna do is, if you use Dreamweaver, you're gonna be copying some of this into your site folder and I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. Find the demos page here and double click on it. It should open, now mine shows a Chrome icon. You should show any icon for your browser. Double click on it, it should open in your browser, like Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome. It's just a web page. If it doesn't, you can go to a browser and choose File Open and open it up. Now, if you look here, you're going to see it shows us three different demos for th three different types of uh, light boxes, or, or excuse me, uh, sliding boxes here. They kind of go from simple at the top to more advanced towards the bottom. We're going to use the simple one here. So here's how it works. On this page, you're going to see that we've got some little... Uh, things here. We can click on demo one notes. It shows us some things. Most of us are going to ignore this right now. Just say, wow, that's great. But if you click on header, for instance, and I'll scroll back up, it shows you what you need to copy and paste into your page. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to Dreamweaver. Make sure you have some kind of page that you want to put the slider in, obviously. Okay. Make sure you've got a site set up as well. If you already got one, that's great. I've got some pages in there. You might have images folder, all sorts of stuff. Come to your page, and what we're going to do is we're going to start copying and pasting into the page. Go to Code View, click on that, and scroll all the way up. Go back over to the uh, browser, and you're going to see where it says Header right here. You're going to simply select all this stuff, copy. So you can right-click and copy. Go to Dreamweaver again. Look in your code here. You're going to see that we have what's called a head tag. Now, yours is probably a lot bigger. There's a lot more in there. Find the closing head tag. It looks like that. And I'm going to put my cursor in front of it, hit a return, and paste. That's going to paste all that stuff in there. These are links to the script and the styling. There's basically four things we need to put on the page out here. Okay, and you'll, you'll see that as we go. This is one of them. Now, I'm going to save my page. It's not really going to do much in it right now. Next thing we need to do is you're going to see that it's linking to a bunch of different files. Now, these are the files that we downloaded. You're going to see there's JS. CSS and demos. These are all different folders. So here's what we do. Go out to your desktop, find your folder, that Pro Loser folder that you downloaded. This has got everything in it. Go to your site folder, the one that's got your pages and your website you're working on in, let's say, Dreamweaver, and open that up. What we need to do is we need to take the CSS folder, the demos, the images, and the JS folder, all four of these, and copy them into your site. Now you got to be careful. If you already have an images folder in here or a CSS folder for that matter, you don't want to overwrite it. So for me, I've got nothing. I'm blank here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over and copy it into my site folder. This is my Dreamweaver site folder. If you already have an images folder, what I would suggest you do is go to the Pro Loser folder, open up the images folder, drag all of these or copy them into the existing images folder. That way you don't overwrite it. Okay. All right. Now, there's a lot of stuff in these folders. I'll close the Pro Loser folder and go to my site folder. There's a lot of stuff in these folders you're, you're just not going to use, really, seriously. Um, there's some demo stuff in here, but just to get started, copy it all in. You can weed through it later on the more you learn. And if you look, you're going to see, okay, nothing looks different here. But if I go to my design view and I save my page, if I look over at CSS styles over here, I'll see that I now have, with all selected, I now have two more style sheets, anything slider, and color box, along with any other style sheets you had, okay? All right, now that's a start. 
go back to code view, go back to the web page that's got all the stuff in there. That's our header. I'm going to close that up. Click on CSS and HTML. And you can see we got a lot of stuff in here. You're going to see new in whatever. Just copy from here down. It's going to take me a second here to scroll. Sorry. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, copy down to here where you see the closing brace. Do not copy this UL stuff. That goes in your HTML. So I'll right click and copy it. This is styling that needs to go right inside the page. So I'm going to go over to Dreamweaver again. Find that body tag again, the, the uh, excuse me, the head tag rather, the closing head tag. I'll put my cursor in front of it and I'll just hit a return. And what I'm going to do is put my cursor right here and I'm just going to type in style, type, and Dreamweaver should kind of help you out here. Just get what I've got here. Paste that styling stuff and then we're going to close it. So right down here, you'll see, I'm going to put my closing style tag. Okay, so there we go. So that stuff is right there. Now that's in our head section. All right. Next thing we're going to do is click on split view. Look at your page right here. Scroll down. What I want you to do is find a place to put this thing. You're going to have to have a pretty big place, right? So I'm going to go to clearing method here and put my cursor in clearing method and maybe hit a return. Oops. Maybe hit a return if it lets me put my cursor in there. And it's not, which is great. So I'm going to make sure the source code is selected. I'll take a look over my code here. I'll find where I want to put it. I want to put it after, let's say, uh, I don't know, I don't care, instructions or something like that. I'll put it after instructions here. Hit a return. We got to do this in the code. So make sure in your code you put your cursor where you want it to go. You can see it's right after my instructions here. Hit a return. Go back over to the web page. You're now going to see this UL stuff. This is the unordered list. This is, a, this is literally how it works. This is what we put on our page. So if I right-click and copy that, Go back over to Dreamweaver and paste it in my page somewhere. I'll go click on my design view, go to design, and you should see it show up out there. Now it's going to show all the pictures. Don't worry. Everything's showing up out there. It's using some base pictures too. Okay. Don't worry about that. If you've got all the folders where they need to be and everything's set, you should see something like this, these images. Now, if we want to test it out, I'm going to click on live view. Now, this is not going to work, you guys, but I click on live view. Take a look at it. You're going to see, oh, it's not really working. We basically have one more thing to do here. So I'm going to click on Live View again to turn it off. Scroll back up. Go back over to the web page, and you're going to see something called Script. Click on that. I'll scroll up. This script needs to go in the page that this thing shows up on. So let me show you how to do that. So copy from the function up here all the way down to the bottom. Just copy that. Go back to Dreamweaver. Go to Code View. A lot of code here, I know. Find your head tag, the closing head. Put your cursor in front of it. And you could put a, a couple of returns if you want to give yourself some space to see where it goes. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert some scripting, okay? So start typing in the word script. Type. And we're going to use JavaScript. So make it look like that. I'll hit return. I'll paste. Paste that stuff we copied from the page. I'll hit a return and just put a closing script tag like that. All right, I'm going to go to design view. Hopefully everybody saw how to do that. You can always rewind. Go to design view. I'm going to go out to the browser now. Save this. I'm not going to trust Dreamweaver at all, so I'll go out to one of my browsers. Take a look at it, and you should see we now have it. Think, think. There we go. Now, you may see problems down here with some things wrapping, etc. That's because this thing keeps hiding and showing. I'll show you a few things we can do to, you know, kind of get around that. But, all right, let's go back to Dreamweaver. Go to the code. This is going to seem kind of weird. And in the code, find that script stuff that we just pasted in in the head section. You'll see that we've got this pound slider one thing. Now, this, this literally makes it so that you can put more than one of these on a page. That's why they're giving them the name, like pound slider one. If you see right here, it says pound slider one. That's it's an ID, slider one. If I scroll down and find that stuff we copied and pasted into the text down here, you're going to see the same thing, ID equals slider one. So that, that code up there is controlling this list. Now, if you want to put new images in here in the list, you're going to see that here are the image sources right here. So what you can do is you don't have to do this in the code. You can go to design view. If you click on each picture, and it should let you click on each picture, you'll see down here in the property inspector, the source. You can change the picture if you want to. 
You can put a different one in there. You can make them bigger or smaller, you know, that sort of thing. Make sure that the pictures are relatively all the same size though. Makes it a little bit easier. All right, let me go back to code. Scroll back up, find that, that script we've got in there. And here's what I'm gonna show you. We got some things we can control. Go back over to that web page, and you're gonna see we've got this the demo thing here. We've got all our three demos listed right here. We're basically kind of done with this page right now, okay? Now, if I go back to the main page here, take a look, you're gonna see I still got this in here. This is the, uh, the example, the demo from CSS Tricks. This is what we saw earlier. Scroll all the way down. You're gonna see what's called default options. These are little parameters that we can stick in and change things. If you want to change the width of the whole thing, you could literally copy and paste this in the code. If you wanna change how things work, like you want it to automatically play, autoplay. You want it to start and stop. You wanna set up a panel, set up different things. There's a lot of things we can do here, which is really kinda of cool. Now scrolling down, you can see we've got a few here, not too bad. Delay, set time, all sorts of things. Now I'm gonna go back to this demo page here. Now I'm gonna take a look again at the main demo. If you click on that and scroll down, you're gonna see that we have a bunch of default options here, but there's a lot more, which is really kind of cool. You can set all sorts of things here, which is really pretty cool. Um, we can set how to enable arrows, how to auto play. Let me show you a few of these that I think are kind of cool. Let me find a couple that I think are, are pretty neat. Um, for instance, if you see that we've got um, the navigation and things like that, we can go in and enable it or not. We can enable the arrows. Um, we can do things like, uh, let's see here, build arrows. Oh, okay, here we go. Build navigation. Suppose that uh, you don't want the navigation on the bottom. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Um, if I go back over to Dreamweaver and go to one of the browsers, I'll take a look. You'll see that navigation down here. We can actually get rid of that if we want to and just have arrows. So to do that, if you come back to the Anything Slider page here, if you just select all this stuff right here and copy it, build navigation, go back to Dreamweaver, find this thing right here, anything slider and this crap right there, put your cursor at the end, hit a return, and just paste that stuff. Okay, make sure there's no extra returns in there. And choose, instead of build navigation true, just type in false. It's kind of telling it, you know, true or false. Save the page, go look at it in the browser, and you'll see it's not actually building that bottom part anymore. So we've got a lot of controls, a lot of things we can do here. So let me go back. If you don't want that, uh, that autoplay, that start stop button, you can literally type in or put in build start stop. If you don't want the arrows, you can type this in and each one of the ones you don't want, you just put in false. So anytime you wanna try one of these, try different things like adding multiple pictures at once. Uh, I don't know, making it so that the arrows don't toggle, they do toggle. All you gotta do is copy and paste one of these Go to the code, make sure you put it right after anything slider. They don't have to go in a certain order here. Just put your cursor after these little braces, hit a return and paste what you want and then try changing it, okay? Now this one was a bad one. Right, I'm not gonna put that in there, but you can keep trying these, keep putting new ones in there. And if you screw up, you can always go to edit undo and undo the ones you did. So anyway, that's allowing us to go through and create this really cool little slider that we can set up in our pages and just make it so it's, really usable. Like I said, create your own pictures, put them in your images folder, and then when you're not in live view, just click on the image, go down to the property inspector, and change where the picture comes from. So anyway, a lot of things we can do. I could go on for days about this, but I'll stop here. So that's how we insert this type of jQuery slideshow.